You're watching ABC4 News. Welcome back. Last year was certainly an interesting one for local businesses. Some actually grew during 2020, while others really felt the effects of the pandemic. How does that affect taxes? Well, today we have a local expert, certified public accountant Ron Valentine, joining us from Valentine CPA. So, Ron, I understand that about nine out of 10 businesses fail within their first year. Why is that? That's a good question. Um, I love small businesses. Uh, they, they get they're, they're out there uh, fighting the battle. I think um, there's many reasons why uh, some struggle. Uh, I think uh, one reason that we see quite a bit is that uh, small business owners uh, lose focus on their priorities. Uh, sometimes they, um, they don't realize that the most important thing for them to do is to uh, run the operations of their business. Uh, instead, they, uh, they, they get uh, surrounded by uh, government compliance and uh, um, uh, all, of, all of the problems with running a small business. Uh, we feel like if businesses will outsource the things that others can do and focus on the most important pillar of their business, which is um, running operations, uh, making sure they've got customers, uh, that those businesses uh, tend to prosper. Yeah, let them handle the goods and services and let someone like you handle the books, right? Because you see them running into tax problems and accounting problems, correct? Right. So, so, so some of the things that we're seeing right now is uh, we're in the middle of tax season. So people are bringing their, uh, their files in, uh, their, their records in to get their tax return prepared. But uh, part of the problem is it's, it's kind of after the fact right now. What, what they really need is someone to help them fight the battle and prepare uh, with some strategies and some ideas to help them keep their tax liability as low as possible. Um, so that, that's one of the problems we're seeing right now. So you're known as the super tax coach. I know you know all the deductions out there. What are some deductions that a small business owner might overlook? Um, uh, to, to, well, to, to get a tax deduction, you generally have to spend money. And uh, so you want to focus where you're, spend, you're spending that money as a small business owner. Sometimes uh, the best tax deductions are uh, when, when you can spend money on yourself, perhaps a retirement plan. Uh, there are some other deductions that are out there that uh, sometimes get overlooked. Uh, maybe a mileage uh, deduction. Uh, the IRS requires that uh, mileage logs be done on a contemporaneous basis, which means it has to be done at the time. It's not fabricated afterwards. Uh, there's always the small business office that uh, might kick in to help, to help some people. Yeah, Ron, I know there are small business owners out there watching this right now thinking 2020 was just a major headache. They had some losses. Maybe they got some government assistance. Now they're trying to figure out how they can get help with their taxes. Where should they go for more information? They, uh, probably the easiest thing is just remember Valentine CPA, Google us, uh, Leighton, Utah. And uh, we have all the contact information on our website. They can fill out uh, ask questions on the website. They, they can email me directly, ron at supertaxcoach.com. Uh, they can uh, call our office if they have questions. We, we do not charge to answer questions, so we welcome any phone calls, uh, any inquiries. All right, what better time than Valentine's Day weekend to uh, okay. contact Valentine CPA. Ron, yeah. thanks so much for being here with us this afternoon. Thanks, Rick. Well, still ahead.